What's up, guys? It's your boy Cosmo, aka Cosmo Problems. I'm here in San Francisco, California. And we're gonna tell you what is the best place to get a burrito in the Bay Area, specifically in the San Francisco area. So let's go. The special part about Mission Burritos is twofer. Number one, they use rice. They put Mexican rice in the burrito. Number two, they steam the tortilla to make it more uh, pulley and stretchy so you can wrap more stuff. Ooh. Oh my goodness gracious, what do we have? Asada, steak, some guac, some beans. No rice though, maybe I was wrong about that mission style, but let's give it a shot. You forgot something. Mm. It's like a soup explosion and a flavor explosion because all of the refried beans and the guac and the sour cream. And then you get nuggets of nice chunky meat. The burrito was $14 after tax and SF mandate fees, $15.44. It's on the expensive side for a burrito. Or is it inflation? Because your boy used to remember when a burrito was $8 here. And the burrito size is a little bit smaller than normal. La Taqueria has been around here since the 90s, so they've been here for 30 plus years. They won so many awards and accolades, but maybe the quality got a little lower, or maybe they got in their head, because I remember when I was a kid and came here, the Ritos were enormous and they were packed with juice and flavor. But all in all, guys, it's a very quality, quality, quality burrito. <laughs> Gotta love a mariachi band. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, okay. Sherry, I got a business idea. How about we put weed infused oil inside a burrito and we call it burritos? <laughs> what do you think? I guess so. So, guys, Taqueria San Bruno is right off the 380 and the 101, right next to SFO Airport. So if you're landing here, you're just about to leave for the day, you got to come to Taqueria San Bruno. It's got so many awards and accolades. Taqueria San Bruno is a fatty, man. This thing is as long as my, this thing is as big as a baseball bat, guys. Try with the salsa verde. Wait, verde is green, Shay? The verde green? Yeah, yeah. salsa verde. Mm. The tortilla is steamed, pillowy, spongy. The rice adds some carbs. It's got a layer of cheese on it, so it's queso burrito. The meat is grilled to perfection. Guac is super creamy. This is a good, good burrito, guys. You have your sauce pleasure here. Salsa verde, pico de gallo, pickled carrots and onions, hot salsa and salsa ro roja. Mm. Mm. My wife just informed me that she likes to share the burrito, meaning pass it back and forth, so that she can take the sides that she likes. She likes all the meat and the guac, and I come in like a bulldozer and just eat the rest, like the rice and the cheese. They say chivalry is dead, but you gotta do it because you love your wife. You know what I'm saying? I use this and my intuition to tell you what's good and what's not good. So make sure you hit that follow button for some more awesome recs, guys. All right, y'all, we're going to the next Rito spot. Remember, mission style only. So now we're in the mission in San Francisco, guys. The mission district is a very culturally diverse district south of downtown in San Francisco. And here is where you'll find all the good stuff. But there's some homeless people, we gotta be careful. Here we go, guys. Taqueria Cancun Mission Style Burrito. Real avocado slices in here instead of a guac. Beans are refried. It's a lot cheesier than the other ones. It's, it's a whole gooey mess in there. Now this is your boy's third burrito of the day. So, am I getting sick of it? Hell no, nah, man. You know I live for this. First impressions, guys, it is freaking cheesy. It's like half quesadilla, half burrito. The tortilla 
has a little bit of a char grill on it, so a little bit of flakiness is actually quite good. And that cheesy explosion is what we came here for, guys. Mm. 15 bucks, no surprise. That is the average price of a SF style Mission Burrito. Not the biggest burrito, yet not the smallest burrito. So good average size. And that's what we want in life. You don't want too big, too small, just right. I will dock them off points for not giving me unlimited salsa because you know, your boy loves to drink the salsa. Mm. Hey guys, El Farolito, the OG location on 24th and Mission. We're gonna get a burrito, cash only guys. The burrito is only $9.25. All right, child, this burrito is on the average size. It's not the biggest one, yet it's not the smallest one. You can tell it's got refried beans, rice, meat, pure avocado, sour cream, cilantro, pico de gallo, and a healthy amount of cheese. That was by far the best bite I've ever had. The best burrito, hands down. I am calling it, guys. The meat here is cooked to charred perfection. The avocado and sour cream give it the creamy balance. The beans give it a little girth, and the cheese, ooh. Melted cheese with the green salsa. This is an excellent bite. Are you gonna keep eating or are you gonna give it back to me? Puff, puff, pass, bro. It's not puff, 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 puff. This is the best one. Why? Mmm. You know me slurping the burrito juices is so damn good. And you know they churn out hundreds of burritos a day. And so. All the ingredients are at the freshest standards ever. Well, we'll walk into our last burrito stop of the tour, Taqueria El Buen Sabor. I don't know if I said that right, but I am excited. I think buen means good, like buenos dias. So Taqueria, good sabor, let's check it out. We got the super burrito. It was $14 after taxes. Initial take is it's on the smaller side. Mmm, a little on the wetter side. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the be the the beans are wet or the rice is wet. Um, you got a burrito slurp it. It's not bad. The cheese is melted perfectly. The black beans are different than the refried beans that we usually get. Mmm, nothing too exciting though, but gets the job done. It's right in the center on 18th and Mission, so centrally located, right next to Dolores Parks. And they're on your food delivery apps like Uber Eats and DoorDash, so check them out there as well. So there you have it, guys. Five excellent burritos in two and a half days. Your boy ate about uh, seven and a half pounds of a burrito, and he is very stuffed. Make sure you hit subscribe. Let me know down below what's your favorite burrito place in San Francisco. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.